April, Frederick coming at you with another live video from Las Vegas. We're going to take a little bit of a virtual drive around Las Vegas. We got some time this afternoon and maybe we'll even get to watch the sun go down. Maybe we'll head back to the studio, but again, uh, virtual driving chat in Las Vegas. Let me fire up chat activities, see who's here, see who's not. Do 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 do. I got the do do doots going. <laughs> That's funny. 58 people, that is absolutely awesome. Now I got the chat rolling. There we go. And we're rolling too. Let me say some hellos as we get started here. <clears throat> and let me clear my throat. Mary Leathers, Janice, Tom Mack, Doug, Val Marie, Liz, Aloha, JR, Crypto, Joe Q, da -da 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 -da, Sony, Great Dane Mom. Keep them coming. I, I can keep up, don't worry. <laughs> I don't think I'll be wrapping myself around a telephone pole today. Maybe the back of this bus, who knows. Kevin, shout out Lakeland, Venus, Double Eagle, yeah, virtual, virtual AF. <laughs> Can you tell? It's, oh, is it AI? I think we're AI today, who knows. Maria. B-S-K-Y, Sylvia, all classics. How you doing, man? So I heard you got that, uh, you got the car, right? So what's the plans? Let us all know. <clears throat> Jim Wolf, Tam V, joining the adult beverage. You were cutting weeds all day? That's one thing I could say I don't have to do. Don't have to cut weeds. I finally got around to putting up that video about, uh, about, with the C-130 in there. Did you guys check that out? I thought that was pretty cool. That was what was glitching like a freak when, uh, when we were downtown. Not downtown, down on the strip. But I did save it to the phone, so yeah. My voice sounds different. Like how, Maria? Can't hear traffic. You want to hear traffic noises? I'll I'll crank up some traffic noises. There you go. <laughs> I'll roll down a window for you, just for you, Maria. Is that better? Nah, I think that's obnoxious. Let me roll up my windows. Hold on. There we go. Beep beep. <laughs> you guys are funny. I love you guys. You do have the car. Big video coming on the pickup of said car. Yeah. Go check out All Classic Restoration. Not now, but after we're done. <laughs> or if you got a second device, go ahead and go over there. But yeah, we definitely want to see what's going on there. Sean, how you doing? We're flying, right? Let's let's see how many people cut us off. There goes one. Thank you. Thanks, bro. Do 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 do. Alright, let's see what we're, what we're gonna do, what we're gonna get into today. I, there's so much, so much stuff in the news. We, some of the news I can't do here, but I might do a, uh, a Las Vegas news segment from maybe the Bellagio tomorrow, being that it's Friday. We'll see. But there's so much going on. Dun, dun, dun. Yeah, I took care of that. <laughs> Want to do? Want to do driving ASMR? 
for real with the five banana ramas. Thank you very much. Don't think we'll be applying it to gas, but I will get a coffee. Thank you very much. Yeah, check out Dave's channel. For sure. Captain Loped is here. Cool. Virtual gas. Oh, every little bit helps, you know what I'm saying? Figured I'd save the wear and tear on my vehicle and put it onto my computer instead. <laughs> uh, it was hot today. I did try to get some sleep. How much sleep did I get? I was like at, at nine o'clock. I was because I told you I didn't sleep since uh, I didn't hadn't slept since Monday. So I figured ah, I'm gonna go to sleep. I didn't have any Nyquil. I'm running low on Tylenol PM. I saved them for an emergency and whatnot. It wasn't really an emergency, but I wanted to sleep. But I was in that overtired thing. And yeah, best laid plans. So it was like nine o'clock. I'm in bed. I'm like, yeah, let me watch some stuff. And then I started watching some stuff. And the next thing you know, it was like 11. And I was like, oh, I had a brilliant idea for the tail end of a video that I'm putting together for the other my my pla I keep saying the other channels not the other channels my own platform abrofrederick.com and I worked on that a little bit uh you know you ever search something on YouTube and then for the next three weeks you get inundated with it you know you search how to fix your freaking ironing board and then the next week they figure you're like an ironing board fanatic or collector it's just ridiculous, you know, it's just one time only. So when that happens, you got to go back and clear your history out. Start afresh. But anyway, I digress. <sighs> so I was doing stuff and I came across a video on how to do something specific I've been wanting to do. So I got up and did that. But I got a solid, uh, I don't know, five hours plus or minus. And you know what? When I finally... I, I, uh, I slept until maybe 8 o'clock, 7.40 or something like that. Yeah, I think it was 7.40 when I got up, made the coffee, did all the stuffs. And lo and behold, I pick up my phone and who calls? Remember I said that T-Mobile promised me a call on the 18th? They said, yeah, we're going to call you on the 18th and, you know, just to make sure that you're not having any more problems because everything's great, blah, 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 all this other bullshit. They called at 7.20, like while I was still asleep. It's like, okay, if you're on the East Coast, but all you got to do is look at my account. They know I'm on the West Coast. So they called me at 7.20 and left a message saying that everything's great and everything's fixed and they just wanted to confirm and... Thank you for being wonderful. If I have any problems in the future, call them back at their, you know, at their support number. Didn't even, it was the same, it was the, the chick that I was telling everyone about on HeyBroFrederick.com, uh, you know, who was, I was like, sort of like counseling, you know, with her finances, young 24 year old girl who didn't know, you know, didn't really know. She was lost, per se. But anyway, it was an interesting conversation. You'd have to, you know, you'd have to see the video to check that out. Anyway, um, she she was the one who actually called back. She should have gave me her callback number, unless they're not allowed to do that. But she has all my phone numbers. She can, like, you know, call me up and be like, hey, bro, Frederick. But, yeah. So, according to them, it's fixed. I guess we'll find out tomorrow. I didn't have time to call them today. <sighs> Anyway, but what I do have time for, while we drive down the street behind this uh, vehicle right here, is to invite everyone to like, share, subscribe, and hit that bell button to get notified when I do this again, which is at least five times a week. And if you want to support the channel, the number one way you can do that is Super Chat while I'm live. And the number two way you can do that is, because it's not a YouTube-related thing, but you can go check me out at heyroarfrederick.com Bra Frederick raw and uncensored all the things that we can't do here we're doing over there for the, about a cost of about 50 cents a day so jump on board and I'd appreciate that and you know it's my um, my way of uh, how would I say anti censor boat <laughs> they can't get me over there but I mean they could you know they could just like hide in an alley with a van and black bag me but 
I don't think they'll do that. You guys got my back. And the other ways you could you could help me out is clicking on any links in the description below. Alright, now that we've got that out of the way, what do we got? Top messages. Gotta get over to regular messages. <laughs> the top message. I never figured there's no difference when I press it. It's all the same. It's all the same. Most customer service reps don't have a door. Well, she can call me from uh, her phone number, you know? I'm sure she wrote down mine. She could just call me back and be like, Hey, bro, Frederick. And be like, uh, young lady? What do you need? She's going to be more financial advice. Because <laughs> that's what I did. I gave her financial advice. Well, I gave her some dating advice. I'll admit it. I was like, don't be one of those I don't need no man women. Otherwise, you're going to end up with a cat. A ten cat. Not one is okay, two is okay, three, man, eh, it's pushing it, but not ten. Only one of them ten. We go to, what, watch the sunrise. Yeah, I like to, my sweet spot for sleep is pretty much six hours. Any more than that, I sort of wake up like with a sleep hangover. Any less than that, I can deal with it. Definitely a different part of it. We're heading towards the strip soon. Yeah, I'm just, uh, I don't know. I'm, I'm a bit of a night owl. Left to my own devices. Like I always say, I'd probably go to sleep when the sun comes up. Uh, wake up around one or two. <laughs> That's what suits me the absolute best. Oh, they waited 12 minutes until hitting me with a commercial. What is this one for? Triple A. Oh, the funny thing about um, T-Mobile is they sent me... When the heck was it? Last night, as a matter of fact. That, that's another thing I was up doing, you know, because I don't generally get texts. I got, I got texts on a number that, like, two people have, three people have. I'm like, what the heck is this? You know, I think it's an emergency. You know, they got to, you know, help with a body or something. I don't know. So it's T-Mobile. And they're like, hey, we noticed that you're not taking advantage of all the great benefits that your uh, Super Magenta Max Plus Hyper something. It's a commercial plan. No, it's not the Magenta. It, it's a commercial plan that I have, you know, because all the bandwidth I suck up. And so I click on the, the little thing there, and sure enough, it was like free Apple TV. Okay, cool. Free Apple TV. What else was there? Free AAA. It says all this stuff is on us. Free AAA, free Apple TV, free... What was the other thing? Free Hulu, which I, uh, Hulu is a, Hulu is a turd. <laughs> oh, excuse me. I can't stand Hulu. I had it for like 15 years. I didn't just know. It just got so bad, especially during the, the shutdown. And what else was there? 25% off all Hilton hotels. Uh, 30% off of all... Hertz rent a cars and one other rent like the, the the list of benefits went on and on and on and on so I'm checking out each one and I'm clicking on it because you know learn more it's like oh what is it for two months and then you know they're gonna hit my card or whatever the case may be so I just clicked on the ones that said truly free which they all were except for Sirius satellite which I had in the car for a year but I let it expire I mean when I got, eh, it was kind of lame. To be honest, it was lame. Like, everything 90s was just a loop. Uh, everything hip-hop related was a loop. I just couldn't, I'm not into sports, so that didn't matter. There's only so much I was able to take of freaking Howard Stern and, you know, all that bullshit and the podcast. So I was just like, screw it. It's not worth 10 bucks a month to me. Uh, so they said, you know, click on this. You get that for free. Good thing I read the fine print because that was three months and then it was uh, $10.99 or $9.99 or some shit. 
but all the other stuff was free. This is virtual AF. <laughs> Love commentary. Just watch a very cool series on called Fallout. I gotta go check that out. Fallout. All right. Yeah, no, no free parking on the strip. That wasn't one of the perks. <laughs> Definitely not. <laughs> yeah, keep all your freaking freebies and fix the signal. Uh, I, I don't know. I, I, I'm at a loss with them. You know, they're admitting they have a problem. Da, 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 that's why she called. Yeah, maybe that's why she called me at 7 o'clock in the morning. You might be right, Bert. That, that, there might be something to that, you know? Before she uh, watered her caps or whatever. Hmm, interesting concept. No free parking at the Blage. <laughs> Yeah, I just, is there anything, Great Dane Mom, is there anything actually worth watching or listening to on, uh, on Sirius anymore? Because, like I said, when I first got it, it was nothing but, um, that was on it. Just that, just stations, and they just constantly, endlessly loop stuff. You know, every time I turned it on, it seemed like the same, they'd play like a half hour of good music, and then it was all like B-side crap. And Howard Stern, which, you know, I can't stand him. He was he had his moment, like, a long time ago, but now he's just, he's a clown. The Strat. <laughs> what up, Strat? Venus says she loves it in the car. I'm going to leave that one alone. <laughs> <laughs> Resting up your liver, fool. You can't stand people talking and ads. <laughs> hey, I'm offended. No, I'm not. This was driving. Boy, there's Denny's. Shout out, Denny's. Right. Oh, okay, see, I'm not the only one who thought that. No offense, Venus, you know. I didn't go there technically, right? <clears throat> yeah, he I mean he used to be funny, but I mean let's face it, that that dude, he he went too far, king of all media, yada yada. I met him once in Madison Square Garden and somewhere else. I even got a signed copy of his book like He's just like, hey, bro, you, you want a signed copy of my book? And I'm like, I don't feel like carrying this shit around the rest of the night. But he gave it to me anyway, so I do have a, a signed copy of his book. Didn't ask for it, he just kind of stuck it in my hand. Uh, you know, that'll be worth $5. I'll lose money selling that on eBay <laughs> with shipping and whatnot. But, I, you know, he, he totally blew up his, his marriage. Blew up his whole family for just, you know constantly he just didn't know when to stop acting the fool i mean the dysfunction of all the staff and whatever there was fights breaking out in the studio and it just you know it just turned into a shit show but still rather amusing he was like the first of you know he, he's like the godfather of you know what i do pretty much you know quote unquote podcasting irl whatever the hell you want to call it I mean, that was kind of his shtick, and, you know, he was way ahead of his time with that. However, he just didn't know where to, you know, where to draw the line. Would I know where to draw the line? Probably not. <laughs> you know, I have a problem drawing lines, but at the same time, you know, I'm not going to blow up my marriage over it, you know? I mean, he was married, he had the kids and everything, and no, nah, he, just, he just took it too far. But even though we still like to watch train wrecks, but at the same time, the minute he got into, uh, you know, he, he went like so far left that it, it wasn't even tolerable anymore. Like AMF dude. The Beatles station. Yeah, I'm not really a big Beatles fan. 
I mean, sometimes I, you know, like with uh, Google, I'm like, hey, Google. Oh, oops. Let me, let me not say that. Let me, let me wait for the alphabet people to stop listening. All right, they stopped listening. You know, and I ask it to play music by a specific artist. And of course, they're not going to play just that specific artist. They got to play other people too. But at least you get the genre. Like, you know, I might be in like a Sade mood. So I'm like, eh, yeah, he's a freaking one. <laughs> You're right, Kevin. <laughs> Yeah, of all the people who, um, you know, were at risk for the whole, uh, you know, Me Too thing, you know, Stern, I mean, I'm surprised people haven't come out of the the woodwork talking about the essay that, you know, might have happened during his uh, reign as king of all media, but somehow he stayed under the radar. Maybe they have, uh, how would I say, maybe they have some... Um, mm. Hmm. <laughs> Let me try to word it properly with the sensor boat activities. Maybe, just maybe, just saying, maybe they have some videos of him, you know? All these people who go extremely hardcore to that one side, I always question, like, I wonder what if they got something on them. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Andrew. Hickory Dickory Duck. Yeah, I mean, he's he's only relevant. I think he's only irrelevant now because he's on Sirius Satellite, you know? I think that's the only reason. If he was still on, like, a traditional channel, people would still be, you know, sucking up his BS. Andrew Dice Clay. The morning, yeah, the morning zoo on the way home, way to school. That's funny. What do you got? 140 people. That's all right. Is this like the light, the forever light? Holy cow, let's just go. Jeez. Don Henry's having some pork. I, that's funny. I just pulled out pork chops too before I left the house this morning. They were in the freezer. They're probably defrosted by now. I've been thinking. I've been doing... I, during my, because I've been staying up so long, and I keep I keep myself occupied out of the corner of my brain, you know, listening to, you know, various podcasts about different things, a lot of health-related stuff, and I found out something really messed up today. Um, one, well, and one yesterday, like, eating pig might not be a good idea. In the grand scheme of things, might not be a good idea, even though it's wonderfully delicious. I mean, outside of the form of bacon, <laughs> shall I add. I don't think bacon pulled into the category, fell into the category of what I was reading. But pig in general is, I don't know, it's got some, it's got some stuff. <laughs> and I don't want to really get into it, but it's got some issues. No ifs, ands, or buts. The Strat. What is that? Stones? This is a stones question. I always put this down. Oh, Beatles or the Stones? Or the Who? I can't I can't stand listening to the Who. I don't know why. It just give me the creeps for some reason. Almost as bad as, like, Hotel California. Who sings that? They give me the creeps, too. I don't know. what that, that song, Hotel California, is just freaking creepy to me for some reason. I don't know why. It just is. Yeah, the other the other white meat is not good for you. That was my nickname in high school. The other white meat. Uh, let's see. Oh, and the other thing I found out. Pork center pork center cuts are seven forty eight. Oh my god. That's crazy. That used to be like ninety seven cents. <laughs> I don't know what some I must have some trauma in my life like I must have been getting like a serious beatdown or something 
and they were playing Hotel California in the background because every time I hear that song, I just absolutely freaking cringe. I don't know what it is. The Eagles. Oh. <laughs> the Eagles can kick my other white meat ass. Yeah, the majority of pig porn. Yeah, just, uh, I don't know. I might, I might be getting off the... You know, I've been getting more into eating the pig because, um, you know, beef has gotten so expensive and I'm a carnivore AF. So, I don't know. I don't know what to do. <laughs> Excuse me. Shout out. Fashion Show Mall. Um, it's even like beef shanks to make stew here in, I don't know about the rest of the world, but here in Vegas, it's like, Four ninety nine, five ninety nine a pound for beef shanks, which basically they used to ground, grind up, and put into dog food. <sighs> guys love that song. <laughs> and then, well, I'm not playing it for the Broad Nation get together, twenty twenty four. I will eat pork though. I mean, I will eat. I. I mean, I got to finish off the pork that I have in the freezer because I, I bought a bunch of it. I had some bone-in uh, chops that I bought that was super cheap. At They were like $1.29 a pound. I bought pounds and pounds of them. So, you know, I'm not like, I'm not like that much of an idiot where I throw it away. <laughs> but, you know, I will eat it. But when that's done, I think I'll just eat bacon from now on. I don't know. sip of coffee activities bake, bake what would life be like without bacon Costco five dollar chicken they got five dollar chickens I remember when he used to get two chickens for five dollars yeah maybe that's it Eve they just played it till it died American pie what the my, 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 I'm, I'm trying to go back in time my mother used to listen to a a 60s and 70s station growing up. So that's all I heard, too. I mean, some of it was good, but some of it was just like... Yeah, I, I even know what you're talking about. My, my, Miss American Pie drove my Chevy to the levee, but the levee was driving. Like, what does that have to do with anything? Took my Chevy to the levee. <laughs> I'd rather listen to when the levee breaks. Now, I do like me some Zeppelin. No ifs, ands, or buts. Yeah, maybe that's it. Maybe it's like an East Coast, West Coast thing. Like uh, Tupac and Biggie. I don't know. Yeah. There is a house in New Orleans. I think that's how it goes. In the house of the rising sun. That's such a sad song. Oh my god, you know what flashback that just brought to me? Oh, the end of Casino where the chick was, like, broke, and they gave her, like, a hot speedball, and she was dying in the hallway of the Notel Motel. Yeah, that just brought back that memory. All right, we won't be doing that again. <laughs> that was sad. That was sad AF. Oh, my God. I was, I was humming. I was humming in a low octave. Oh, so the other thing, again, we can't talk about it here. We will talk about it on my own Streaming platform, HeyBroFrederick.com, if you haven't checked it out already. I mean, it, it's free to check out. There's a link, like, right atop your head there. Um, and I'll tell you why, but let me just say, one, I am not a doctor. I gotta say that for YT. Uh, the, the, they're gonna kick me in the balls anyway. But, um, not a doctor. I just read a lot of shit. And I just read a report today, a legitimate report, not some kind of, you know, not some BS report. And it said that basically, I'll summarize, I'll summarize real quick. And I've been doing this for a while, not, di well, not directly, indirectly. <sighs> Me, this is what I'm doing. I am stopping to take all 
calcium supplements. That's all I'm saying. I can't get into the, the reasoning why, but um, for me, no more. I, I'm just removing that out of my supplement stack. And uh, you do what you guys need to do. We'll talk about it on the other channel. Not the other channel, my channel. I gotta take ownership of it. Yeah, Scorsese did pick some good music. But that was so sad. That was so sad. You have guilt issue when it comes to hamburger steak. Really? Like you think about you think about the poor cow and whatnot. I mean, I do too sometimes until I taste them, put it in my mouth. But you know, yeah, you know, cows will play with you. They'll play fetch and shit. But I don't know. I mean, I'm I. Hmm. <laughs> They're delicious. What can I do? They're just delicious. Great Dane Mom, did the scrolling problem get fixed? Matter of fact, the the funny you, you mentioned that, they just sent me an email. Let me see if I still have it on my phone here. Hold on a second. They just sent me an email. We've been behind this freaking red truck forever. Let me see if I can find this email. Hold on. Oh, yeah. It says, hey, bro. Thanks for patiently waiting. I'm following up, and I received uh, several updates doo -doo 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 -doo. from the software development team. They have identified, thank, well, no, <laughs> thanks to your help, they have identified the issue in the live chat. Uh, and they have been able to fix the issue. But we'd appreciate if you continually monitor it and let us know. All right, cool. <laughs> so that answers that question. I just got that email. So hopefully that problem solved. Fake meat is even... Oh, fake meat. <clears throat> you know, all the... Be See, I'm going there. I, I can't help but go there. You know, all the stuff about... You know, eating meat is going to cause the big C and whatever. You know what? It's actually the opposite. You know, people who are, uh, you know, straight up carnivores have less cases of the big C than people who do. Hmm. Let me catch up on chat. Do, 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 do. Let me see if I missed any super chat activities. Nope, Maria. Still in the lead. Bum, bum, bum. Dylan, you're going to be here May 7th through the 12th? Yeah, that's good. That'll be right before the weather turns to crap. Yeah, all the fake food. That fake, that impossible, whatever, whatever. That, that is so bad for you. If you only knew. Well, you can know. All you got to do is do your research like I do. You can know what I know, but maybe you don't want to know what I know. What do they say? The wiser a man gets and the more a man studies, the less happy it's, you know, the harder it is to be happy. I think I might call it fall into that category on occasion. That's why I like dispensing the information I know. It lets it flow out of my body so I can actually sleep. <laughs> but if you knew how they got... uh. The B L O O D in impossible meat to taste like it and look like it and flow like it. Yeah, well, you would you would just you would dry heave. You would you would absolutely dry heave. So a few uh Bill Woods' his face. Yeah, Dylan. Yeah, come say hello. Hopefully I'm on the strip and you know we got connection again. Frickin' yikes. Let's get back to what are we talking about? <laughs> Enough of that. We went through pork, we went through uh, calcium. Like, F-calcium. You get enough if you drink some milk. You get enough if you eat some cow and whatnot. Eat some cheese, you're good. But supplementing it, I am not. 
I mean, I'm li okay. I will eat the rest of the pork I have in my freezer, but I will throw out my bottle of uh, yeah, Bill, <laughs> Bill G. Um, yeah, he, he's behind all that. He's all right. We can't. Oh, calm down, bro. Can't talk about it. Yep, increases knowledge, increases sorrow. I mean that. You know where that came from? That came from the. Havamal of my people. They were on board with that. Shout out cows. <laughs> cows are awesome. You know, they, they play fetch and they taste good. What's not to like? You know, if you've ever harvested your own animal, you it, it sort of frees you from how would I say guilt? of you know consuming I've, I've never experienced that i had it but you know once i harvested my own i mean i'm not talking about a squirrel or a rabbit because i grew up eating rabbits and dispatching them and whatnot but once you harvest you know a deer or something like that you do develop a certain respect you know you kind of revere the animal, so I don't, it's not like, F you, bro, you taste good. <laughs> you know, I still revere it. Oh, yeah, and and biblical as well. Absolutely, freaking lutely Jim. <laughs> Part two of Dylan Jason. <laughs> That's funny. All right, what else we talking about? Freaking red truck, man. What up, red truck? <clears throat> Gonna pass his ass. See ya. Thank God, I just got the commercial at 12 minutes, and that was it. Every time I say I, it goes to a commercial. Oh. Like, oh, wow. I, I, I'm kind of believing that. Yeah, I, that does not surprise me whatsoever. We would name our cattle then at the table. Yeah, I mean, give thanks. I mean, I never, you know, went full-blown freaking Red Dawn and, like, you know, took a bite out of its heart and whatnot. But, you know, when you have to field dress your own, you know, track, dispatch, field dress, butcher, quarter, haul it out of the woods or off a mountain yeah you get a certain respect for that but you know hey they did animals they did animal sacrifices you know i mean that wouldn't be approved to, in these days but you know that's that's biblical af also Yeah, well, they, they, they're just reopening for a couple of days to see if they have any asbestos in there. <laughs> Actually, they do have a crew in there, and they're, and they're like, oh, yeah. They sh the, the news here in Las Vegas, the stations are so, so pathetic. They're all pathetic, every single freaking one of them. Um, they posted a picture, especially the social media People. They're probably a bunch of dumb kids, or whatever. They don't know their, sh you know, ass from a hole in the ground, as McGrams used to say. But what did they do? They posted a picture of like two guys with brooms and one guy with a hammer in one of the rooms at the Tropicana, and they said crews are now removing asbestos. And they were just like, you know, and one was drinking coffee, the other one was smoking a butt. Yeah, those are the guys who, if they were really removing asbestos, it would look like, you know, a repeat of the um, the moon landing or something. You got to dress up in specialized suits with air respirators. They would tent everything. 
I mean, that's a serious business, removing asbestos. And, you know, the social media people just took a guy, of, you know, took a picture of, uh, you know, two dudes, you know, got in a room at the Tropicana and said, yeah, that, that's the asbestos removal crew. <sighs> yeah, Mary, you are correct. Definitely, like, Breaking Bad, they call that a mop suit, you know? Probably even... Yeah, that would that would be about right. Yeah, that would be a mop suit. And not only that, they got to shield the whole building, like, um, so it doesn't disperse into the air because asbestos is one of the only things, it's a forever thing. It's one of the things that if it gets inside you, there's no way to get it out. The body cannot repair itself from getting some asbestos in it. So yeah, they protect the environment. Supposed to. Oh yeah, they're they're gutting it now, but I know they're bulldozing all the back buildings. I like that dodge. Mesophilia. No, I can't even repeat that word here. But yep. It's bad. It's got a nice sweet taste to it, too. Hmm. Hmm. Chanel for show. <clears throat> Drink some coffee while we wait. As Matt, for sure. Hazardous material. The other thing I've been doing a ton of research on for uh, HeyBroFrederick.com, Bro Frederick Run Uncensored, is uh, uh, the vapor trails in the sky. <laughs> it's all the, how would I say? Like, everyone's been saying, what is it, the sea theorists? You know, I can't say the whole word, the sea theorists. Isn't it funny how they're all becoming, uh, all being pointed out as true these days? All the vapor, yeah, it's just water vapor in the air. Got some interesting information about that. Traffic. What are you guys talking about? Gas went up here from really 350. It is four. What did I? I paid 459. It came down 10 cents. 459. I just paid like two days ago. 459. I gotta get. I gotta put air in my tires. I think. Yeah, it's condensation. <laughs> sure it is. Anybody seeing what's going on over in uh, Dubai? You know what that's from, right? You know, you know what kind of program they've been running for the past, like, couple of years, right? Well, a couple of weeks. Um... Uh, <laughs> I gotta be so careful, oh my god. Oh, I hate having to bite my tongue. Hey, bro, Frederick.com. Yeah, they've been running um, atmospheric um, seeding. And they uh, they broke something. <clears throat> they broke something. They literally broke a cloud. <laughs> they, they, broke, they broke the planet. Oops. And now it's underwater. Provable. Have I been back to the Rio? Um, no, I have not. I actually let me let me think about that for a second. Have I been back to the Rio? No, I have not. 
I think one time after another driving chat, the the last, I don't know, maybe it was like a month or two ago, I just had a, like, I had a, I had a wee so bad. <laughs> no, 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 no. I remember when I went in there. After, uh, after I did the train track walk, because I parked at the Rio, I went back to the car, I had to go pretty bad, you know? So I went inside, and I just went in the back. You know, you come down into the back where, you know, Rio Rita and the whole carnival thing used to take place. And I didn't see anything different. Not a thing. I didn't really, like, poke around, but I didn't see nothing different back there. But people are saying it's, you know, new, improved. All you see is the lights. You can see that for miles. I could see that shit all the way, at, you know, by my house. It's it's bright. It's crazy. Yeah, they're darping like freaks. Not even that. I mean, the technology that the that they were using for their uh, when they broke the planet <laughs> you know, over in Dubai, um, low tech, low tech. I mean, I, I again can't get into it here, but they. I think they might have permanently broke the earth. You know, that's why I'm telling everyone stock up. <laughs> They're 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 just like breaking the earth little by little, but no, I haven't really been around there. Yeah, I mean, I I don't know about going live from the Rio because it's just every single time I'm in there, they they just hassle me. I don't know if it's changed. I, I don't know. You remember, like, the last couple of times. It used to be I could run around there with impunity. You know, they like... At first, they hated me. You know, they, they actually, like, borderline freaking assaulted me one time. You know, some security guards live. And that's when there was security from Caesars. And then later on, they got mellow. And then they started getting aggressive again, and I still was okay over there, as long as I didn't walk around and sit by the machines. You remember those days. And then the last couple times, they just basically wanted to walk me right out the door. It's just, it, whatever, their policies. Not mine. Oh, here come the trap again. So I don't want to start in there just to get thrown. I, I don't like getting asked to leave. I don't get, like, I don't get bent about it. It's like, who cares? It's their property, you know. I don't really give a shit. I don't like a live or die based on... Like, the trop would do the same thing. Always ask me to leave. Like, I timed it. It was exactly two minutes. <laughs> the night before they closed, it took them exactly one minute and 58 seconds to ask me to leave. Because they were like, Oh, if we let you do it, then everyone's gonna do it. Like, who fucking cares? <laughs> you know? Who cares? What are you talking about? Anyway, I digress. I just don't like going through it because then it throws a crimp in my plans. You know, what am I going to do? Walk around? The Rio is in like a shitty area. You know, no ifs, ands, or buts. Not saying I'm, that bothers me because I walk around shitty areas all day long. Well, <laughs> that's an exaggeration. I don't have a problem walking through shitty areas, but there's nothing to see. So that means I got to walk over the bridge you know, go all the way to the strip, you know, and all that type of stuff. So, you know, if I if I knew they were kind of okay with it, the new people, but I don't know. I, I just get, I don't know, something about that place. That was a place that, you know, basically, if you guys remember the story, this I, I did a whole video on it. Um, You know, they called the cops on me for uh, protecting a woman's... Uh, integrity chastity whatever you know one of their oh, this is way back in the day don't don't get it twisted that it was recent this is a long time ago and you know some uh one of their employees was sa and a, a woman at the buffet and you know i interceded and they pretty they basemented me they literally basemented me called the cops it was a whole big freaking drama so i still got that stuck in my place in my brain Although they have huge rooms. <laughs> got them in. They got big, huge rooms. I've done shit. Probably like a hundred photo shoots in that place. Not a, I haven't got one single commercial. 
Boom, boom, boom. The bass just hit the room. <laughs> Mighty Bull, what's going on? Five ten, yeah. You remember that? Okay, you remember that. Good. Yeah, the 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 weird voyeur room. The voyeur window. True. Let's see what else you guys are talking about. If you're new people out there, you should go ahead and like, share, subscribe, and hit that bell button to get notified when I do this again. And join, uh, join Braw Nation. But, you know, I have like 50-something people who asked to join Braw Nation on Facebook, but they never answer the questions. So I'm like, I, I just don't, you know? I mean, sometimes I'm like, ah, let me look and I'll click, you know, view profile, but... That doesn't tell me whether, you know, you're a nut job or not, <laughs> you know? I mean, I'll be perfectly honest. I can't tell if you're crazy or not. You know, if you're our kind of people, you might be a, you might be a total whack job. I don't know, but you got to answer the questions. You know, that's, that's the only way I'm letting people into the group. I apologize for that. So if you haven't heard back from me, if you applied, not applied, you know, did the little questionnaire to join. What is it? I promise I'm not going to be an asshole. <laughs> You know, simple stuff. Uh, where do you hear about me? You know, the answer for that's YouTube. Are you a Patreon or channel member? I'm probably going to change that question, but that was, uh, that's not, it's, it's not to like set people apart. That was, there used to be a separate group. I used to have a separate Facebook group for Patreon and channel members, but, you know, that was, like, dead on the vine because there's a thousand people in the main group versus, you know, 50 in the other. I do have to change that question. No ifs, ands, or buts. But still, got to answer the questions. I don't know. I mean, that's a, that's a total freaking weird thing with Facebook, too. They shouldn't even let you. Like, if you make it a deal where... People have to answer questions to get in your group, then they just shouldn't let people bypass that, you know, and let people know right away. Sorry, uh, you know, you got to answer these questions first. Duh. Did you notice on Facebook that uh, they introduced their new AI? There's no longer a search uh, feature in there. So the, the search is replaced by Meta AI. We are an artificial intelligence here to help you. You can still like search for shit, but now everything you search for or everything you say is being incorporated into their machine learning model. So besides the fact that they sell all your data anyway to third parties, now it's being used to train their AI. So you have no privacy all on fb like none none gone forget it i mean you you can't even opt out of it you can't say no i, I don't want to help train your learning model you know i they're gonna know everything they're gonna know what color underwear you're wearing and what you had for breakfast you know and there's no way that i've seen so far that you can opt out of it so yeah effectively they killed the. Uh, FB, in terms of privacy. Hmm. 580 for regular. What are you guys talking about? Is who a patriot? <laughs> That's a dirty word. I, I just got my, uh, my second commercial of the whole live stream. Rethink those fashion shows. Who are we talking about? <laughs> yeah, there's, there's like no ads taking place. 
Just, yeah, I just got the exact... I got two also. That was it. I guess that's good, because, you know, I'm not making any money off the, the YT ads. I mean, on a good day, it's like... On a good live, a good live stream with, like, 200 people. <laughs> which is rare, since they started shadowing me. What do we got, 145 now? <laughs> 145, oh my goodness. Anyway, I digress. Uh... You know, somewhere in the neighborhood of, like, six dollars. <laughs> you know? <laughs> they, should, they should, like, pay minimum wage at, at the minimum, you know what I'm saying? But no. Oh, and next week is 100% going to be in the 90s. So dress accordingly. Yeah, Copperfield is still... I mean, he got caught up in the whole Jeffrey deal, but, you know, this town being the town, they said nothing. He's still around. Wearing sparkles and glitters. No Daisy Dukes and tube tops. Wasn't that mandatory? Didn't we make that mandatory, Janice? Daisy Dukes, high heels, and tube tops? Hmm. It the funny thing is, Kyle, it's the exact opposite. You you actually lose more weight eating meat. Because it's biological. Like, no? Oh, okay, damn. Oh, the men are supposed to wear the tube tops, the Daisy Dukes, and the high heels. Oh, I gotta shave my legs. Shit. <laughs> yeah, that's what I thought we agreed to. Dave's breaking out the Speedo. All right, cool. Is it one of those, like, uh, Cohen Speedos? Like the, the Mankini kind? Or just, like, the straight-up Speedos? <laughs> I can't even imagine that. How do you ladies wear thongs? I couldn't... <clears throat> I don't know. It's just something about that. I mean, they look good and everything, but how the hell do you wear them? I mean, like, doesn't that, like, take your, your concentration away if you're wearing a thong? You know? I, I know it would me. I'd be, like, trying to have a live stream. If I was wearing, like, a, you know, a thong-type thing, I'd be, like, my brain would be about two and a half feet lower constantly thinking about that. Because that's just awkward AF. I don't know how you ladies do it. You ladies are amazing. Tie-dye pajama, oh, tie-dye shirts and PJ bottoms. That sounds good. Yeah, a freaking constant wedge. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> yeah, a constant atomic wedgie. I don't know. That's why ladies are awesome. You guys can pull that off. I would just be warped for the entire day. I'd make such a horrible chick, you know? I really would. Don't have to worry about me doing anything. <laughs> oh, shout out Denny's. Coming up on the Denny's activities. And of course, Walgreens. Hmm. 
That was fun hanging out over here the other day. Ron. What up, Ron? You out there? I'm actually wearing one of the Star Trek communicator badges right now. Yeah, like out back is where you gotta go for state. You're 100% correct. Ain't no state. <laughs> <laughs> I keep house better than most chicks. It is amazing. How do you know how I keep my house? <laughs> That's an interesting statement. Constant wedgie. <laughs> You had a porterhouse? I ate at, when did I eat? I ate at the Outback Steakhouse, uh, I think one time on, let's see. It was like near the Sunrise Mall on Long Island. And I, I remember being not bad in the grand scheme of things. I gotta be honest, it, was, it probably was not bad. Yeah, I think mine was a gift card, too. <laughs> That's funny you said that. I think mine was legitimately a gift card. Is that the only reason people go there? Join the live stream this Saturday for the live opening of the Siegfried and Roy show. Hmm. Okay. Yeah, they do have the cheapest ATMs in town. Uh, what's a face? Uh, Caesars dropped theirs back down to ten ninety nine in some locations and nine ninety nine in other locations. They jacked theirs up to twelve ninety nine on their Caesars properties, and I think people are just like f you. I wonder how much of a kickback they get on that because you know they don't own those machines. So there's got to be like a kickback involved, but holy freaking cow, twelve and thirteen dollars, and there's people who pull out like sixty bucks, you know, the last sixty bucks in their account, and pay thirteen dollars. So they're like, oh, I got seventy five bucks, <laughs> and now I'm broke. Dang. But they backed it up two dollars, you know. Whoop de do. Whoop the F and do. I gotta go get some charcoal too, to be honest. I'm in a mood to grill. Grill some of that pork and pig. I never got around to going to uh, the 99 cent store. It just didn't happen. I think they're still open. I don't know. I think I think they're closing in July 1st or June 1st or some such nonsense. I don't know. I gotta go see. I, I just haven't had time. I'm trying to get as much stuff as I can accomplished this week before the get together next week. So I didn't get to do that. You grill, yeah. You guys already grilling. Who grills outside in there like slippers and robe? Like, uh, what's his face from, uh, that was the name of that show? Like Christmas Vacation or whatever? Yeah, I gotta go back and give that Ellis Island a try again. I mean, it wasn't bad. What they, that, well, I went for that steak deal, and they just sat there, and they were adamant about the fact that there was no such thing. Well, I did that live. Remember that? I went in there. I'm like, yeah, I want the steak deal. They're like, we don't do steak deals. What are you talking about? For dinner? <clears throat> and they were adamant about it. They're like, nope, just whatever you see on the menu. And they had, like, the double king cut prime rib for, like, I don't know, shit, 
it was like 30 or 40 bucks and like everyone was telling me oh no it's a special you gotta ask for the special i was like hey i want the prime rib special and she was totally looked me right in the eye and said no such thing like damn that's kind of messed up but that breakfast was pretty good and i was thinking about going to the 45's tower too going and having one of them greek salads over there which is always freaking awesome Dollar Tree, I like also. The only problem with the Dollar Trees here, I don't know if, uh, who mentioned that? See, I just, I read the comments and I would go off the comments. Jim says, I always have to say, Jim says, Dollar Store. Yeah, they do. That's an alternative. Um, but they don't have produce at the ones here in Vegas. And the 99 cent stores always had produce that was reasonable. You know, it was it was fairly reasonable. It might have been slightly long in the tooth, you know, but I think they used to buy um, Cardinalis. You know, whatever Cardinalis didn't take would end up at the 99 cent stores. I don't know if they do that, but yeah, I'm going to miss that. All my produce. Now I'm going to have to just specifically go to El Super from now on. The wind core. You grilling your birthday suit, yikes. <laughs> you grilled a big slab of salmon. Ooh, that sounds good. Did you uh did you grill it on one of them uh what is that? You're supposed to put it on a cedar plank or something? I never did that personally. Who knows? Anyway, I think check fan funding. Nope. Not a I think I'm gonna get going. But I don't know, maybe we'll head over to the studio. Who knows? Wanna drive over to the studio? Yeah, let's do that. It's starting to get dark too, you see that? How you doing, Angie? I didn't see you in there. A pink box. What is the pink? What's a pink box? I'm drop some hearts for a pink box. Wow. I agree a hundred percent, Miss Google. There's just something so good and so primal about cooking outdoors and cooking over flame or making fires, you know? Making fires is cool. Well, you know, as long as you're not doing it to stuff that's not yours. Making fires is awesome. It just connects you, you know, it just connects you to earth. I don't know. Oh, it's donuts? Huh. Oh. I, yeah, I could just, I could just literally tap a badge on my shirt and end up in the studio, kind of like this. Plunk, is that freaking amazing or what? Picard badge in action. <laughs> sure, if I do that, if I was a chick, I would put them like right here and then pretend I didn't know I was doing it. Like, you ever notice designs on ladies' shirts, like, where they put, like, it's a polka dot shirt, but they always put, like, two dots right there? Women are crazy. If I was a chick, I would do it. 100%. All right, let me put it up here. Yeah. Cool, right? <laughs> How, that looks good, too. How about that? Got a little, I think that, that light is a little hot. It's freaking magic. 
another 20 minutes well you guys don't really seem all that interested in it i mean there's not that many people in and uh no super chat activity so uh time's time it's freaking classic i did i get any sleep i got five hours i couldn't i tried to go to sleep early but life called me i slept from like two two thirty to about seven forty that wasn't bad I, you could tell i'm a little tired <clears throat> but i was outside in the sun today so i got a little got a little color i mean, got a little cooked so do you have coffee yes <laughs> Now you can see uh, some of my other cups. Like this, I got from the dollar, the ninety-nine cent store or the dollar store. I forgot what. I don't know why it's my favorite. I, I, it's just something sentimental about this. Like it's an old cup. Maybe that's it. It's like one of my oldest ones. <sighs> what up, Mister Buffalo? Wants to chill out. All right. So I think. You had storms yesterday? Do, 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 do. Tornado sirens are going off, Cindy? That's crazy. Tornadoes? Thank you, Tom. I appreciate that. You are awesome, as always. It's very, very David Copperfield of me. Um, you know, I might continue to do I mean, this was sort of a test. I wanted to do it. Um, you know, it's I like doing it. It's very similar to, you know, just sitting out and people watching and whatnot. Uh, very akin to the, the, no, the no talk walks because I like being involved in the chat. I don't know if you guys are into it, but I get doing this, doing it this way. I get to see, like, watch. Oh, I'm back. <laughs> hey, we're on the strip again. What's going on? Yada, 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 yada. I mean, look, let me check this out. I could do even this, watch. Dun, 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 dun. Bonk. <laughs> what up? However, I like getting to read all the chat. You know, that is one of the pluses of doing this. So I do like it. Um, what? Fly low under the radar? <laughs> what are we talking about? Yeah. Yeah, I mean, I get to see, I mean, not one really escaped me today. I don't know how many there were. And of course, as soon as I switch over to the studio, lost like 30 people because people like to see the strip. I get it. But, you know, as soon as we're having, um, you know, as soon as the connection issues get resolved on the strip, you know, we'll get back out there. But it is what it is. Anyway, um, I think I'm going to jet. So I appreciate everyone hanging out, and I'm gonna and put Mr. Buffalo in his cherished Buffalo spot. Ah, <sighs> so yeah, that was that was fun. I, I might do more. I gotta see. I gotta see. It's kind of up to you guys. But more, sh can't more stuff is coming. So people. I am going to say thank you very much to Maria for the super chat. I do appreciate that. And thanks everyone else for tuning in. And I'm going to invite you to like, share, subscribe, and hit that bell button to get notified when I do this again, which is at least five times a week. Going to be on a sports channel. I got all the links down there. Love you guys. And on that note, Roar Frederick out. Check the mic and make sure it sound right, boys.